in the past position, we have the tower, which is basically in the reverse position. So this is basically um, indicative of um, a definite, a very, very strong shift in the way that you've been approaching your life, okay? And I do feel for a lot of you, this could be a situation that is finance related, where you're kind of like looking through the books and you're realizing that, wow, this huge expenditure that I've been spending, um, that I, I've been accruing for the past like five years, I could easily cut my, um, I, I could easily cut down my costs by doing things a little bit differently. So for example, in a business environment, you could be like, okay, well, I've been working with this contract or I've been hiring this person, this company to do something for me. And, you know, they're overcharging me and it's been like, like this for years and now I'm going to go with a different partnership. I'm going to partner up with another company or at least rely on another contractor to do the same amount of work for half the price, for example. In terms of what's coming in for you is the Five of Cups. So we all already have two fives, which indicate some very, very instrumental changes and shifts in your life. Ace of Swords is crowning this entire reading, and we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so let's look at this situation here. I do sense that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, you have definitely had a very significant person in your life leave your life in the past, okay? And I do feel this could be a lover. It could also just be a very, very, um, a family member or somebody that you were very emotionally invested in that have been around for quite some time and you were used to their presence, okay? And I do feel that for a lot of you, um, you, f you felt very snuffed, um, like um, it can be like this, where you feel as if they chose somebody else over you, or you feel as if they don't love you the way that you want them to love you, okay? And I do sense because you're showing up here in the reverse position, page of... Um, wands here this is a fire sign energy because you're in this um position where you're not aware of it i do feel that the other person you're, you're burning them out basically you're um either either you might demand or expect too much of them and and what i'm sensing here is you know you're coming from a, a catastrophe and you're not in the right frame of mind to to start dating again I feel like you have some inner healing, some inner work that needs to be done, okay? So you're operating from a place of like low confidence, possibly financial lack, possibly both happening at the same time because, you know, Saturn is going to be in your sign once again after the 17th of um, September. So I do feel this lesson is coming back and resurfacing and you're going to have to figure out for yourself that... um self-worth is something that is internal okay so if you're feeling it because of something somebody else did that made you feel this way it's um you have to restore this from within okay other people's actions can only affect us so much so if you were a healthy functional like uh, person i do feel that you wouldn't be as hurt or as damaged from other people's actions. So there's definitely a realization coming through that maybe I need to restore myself first in order for me to be in a stable relationship, for example, or maybe there's some type of inner work that I need to do so that I don't drive people away, okay? And I do sense that this whole realization has definitely come into the picture in the within the past like three months. I feel like the past three months were I like life changers or even eye opening moments of clarity for a lot of Sagittarius. However, what's um, crossing you here is um, what I'm getting here is that you are very, very dependent on another person in order to make you happy. And I feel like it might be, you know, jumping from one failed relationship to the next because um, you want to, you want, you want that, um, you want that love, you want that unconditional love, you want the other person to be like your support, your, you want another person to be there for you. So you might be premature about jumping from one relationship to the next, okay, without clearly severing ties. And I do feel that you are definitely severing ties here. If you can see this card, 
Ace of Swords is all about truths. It's all about uh, truths being revealed, new revelations coming through, new ways of doing, new ways of thinking. So a lot of you might have gone through this uh, paradigm shift where you're focusing more on yourself and you're focusing on what you can get out of relationships or what this person has that can add value to your life. However, in this context, what I'm sensing here is one relationship ends and then you're already scoping out a new thing, like a new person. So you might want to slow down a little bit. It could also be like one job ends and then you're scoping out for something new. But the new thing is very similar to the old. So you might want to be a little bit careful. If there's some healing work that you need to do, definitely take some time off in order to do that, okay? Life is not going to... Um, well, it's sort of like, um, I feel like you should slow down a little bit. I, I do feel a lot of, um, a lot of like movement, a lot of earth shattering type of shifts. So you really should slow down, process all of this before you can formulate a new plan for yourself. Okay. Because what's in your environment here is that, um, I do feel like this is premature celebration. And this is basically also um, rushing in too fast without full knowledge, without all the information, without proper time to heal, without, you know, that whole introspection process. So there's that saying, you know, the, the life unexamined is not worth living. This is what I'm sensing here. Don't push ahead too fast. And you really have to take time to process some situations that have happened because you're still very sad about it. And you're trying to put on this mask as if, you know, I'll be okay. That was over and done with. It was, you know, months, years ago. I'm okay. But in fact, your heart, you're physically removing yourself, but your heart hasn't really properly healed. And you're not at the point yet where you have clarity and truths about what exactly happened, how both sides have contributed to that situation. So I do feel that a little bit more um, introspection is, is in order here. In terms of your advice, I do have the Eight of Cups, which indicates to me physically removing yourself from it and also emotionally extracting yourself from it, which is something that is very, very good. And this is something that you want to do because um, what's coming in is, you know, there's that moment of self-doubt where you're just like, um, I know I broke up with that person, but was that the right choice to, to, to do at that time? Will they come back? You know, maybe they've changed. Maybe I should call them. Maybe I should reach out. Well, the advice here is you, you really should move on because you're on the right track. At the same time, move on. Do some inner work. This is also like the, the uplifting capabilities, which can be spiritual ascension. It's also like taking your time out and floating above the situation and looking at the big picture here. This is like the bird's eye view type of card, okay? You can't move on unless you've done that whole reassessment, unless you've done that whole removing yourself physically or being a little bit more detached and objective in the way you view the situation, okay? As for your external environment, I do have the Four of Wands in the reverse position. For a lot of you, this might have been a marriage partner. This might have been somebody in your home environment. It could be a family member, um, a, a very like significant person that you've lived with, okay? And I do feel there was definitely that uh, sense of estrangement. Both of these cards indicate like physical structure, the tower is like a home environment as well, a, a, a place of dwelling, a physical structure of a haven that you thought was um, was safe, something that you thought would, would, would withstand the test of time. However, it's being corroded. It's being washed away in this new um, phase of your life. So I do feel a lot of you are still regretful about the situation, but you do have new things that will come through for you on the heels of this, okay? So the, the old regime, the old system is being basically washed away because it was built on faulty foundations. So if, if it was like a marriage situation, I feel like you have to, a lot of you have to be honest with yourself that, oh, it wasn't gonna work out, you know? Just um, from the get-go, you knew it was faulty. And I feel like if it's a family situation, I definitely feel that you should sail away from it because um, there is no like seeing eye to eye in this situation. In terms of your hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. 
So I do feel that with the Queen of Swords, in your hopes and fears position, um, I'm not reading this so much as a person. It can be a person, but the first thing is I'm getting an energy, which is you're hoping for communication, you're hoping for truths, and you're hoping for like, um, I wouldn't say reconciliation, but you're hoping for at least discourse, an opportunity to discuss things, an opportunity to to hash things out. At the same time, what I'm sensing is, for those of you who are dealing with an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius, okay, for those of you dealing with an air sign, it could be a situation where you're hoping the other person is wrong and that they'll know they're wrong and they'll come back and apologize to you so that you can sweep this under the rug and continue where you left off. For those of you who are dealing with, um, you know, where the air sign is not entangled in this conflict or this situation, I do feel that you're hoping this person would potentially step in to help you. Okay, you're hoping that there's some sort of guidance, communication, contact from this person that can help you navigate the nuances of this situation as it's playing out in your life and as you're dealing with this residual energy. I also feel like you're trying your best to move past this and sail on, okay? However, and you're hoping that this person would at least reach out and give you some guidance or give you emotional, not so much emotional, intellectual support intellectual guidance okay so you're hoping that you have a firm idea of what you can do and you want this person to you want some type of counsel you want some type of advice and you don't feel confident that you can navigate this situation or at least move on with your future completely on your own so you want a partnership you want somebody to hold your hands and walk you through it that's what you really want um, you know, on the heels of the tower, we might be in a situation where we, our sense of self-esteem might be corroded. So this is totally understandable. In terms of the outcome, we do have a justice card in the reverse position. We have ace of wands upright, seven of wands upright as well. Okay, so what I'm sensing here is crowning this entire reading, we have the ace of swords. The outcome, we have the Ace of Wands, okay? So for a lot of you, a new phase in your life is definitely, definitely coming in for you. So, you know, think of it as the, the Wheel of Fortune and think of it as um, it's, it's trying to push out old things in order for a new phase of your life to begin. However, with Saturn in Sagittarius, a lot of dredged up like karma, a lot of uh, people from the past, they're trying to break through into your sphere. So you're, you're going to be tested and you're going to have to like, you know, Saturn is the, um, the karma master. So it's basically, you, you have like this stalled energy and it takes like twice as much work, twice as much energy, twice as much effort in order to push ahead. And I do feel that the advice here is don't be discouraged. You have to push ahead, okay? Because you have Eight of Cups moving on. Leaving whatever it was that you were very emotionally invested in, leave that behind. Moving on with your life, okay? It wasn't fair with the justice reverse. There might have been legal issues that that could come as a result of the separation, as a result of the dissolution in the marriage, as a result of moving house from a physical, moving out from a physical dwelling. There might be joint assets. There might be legal entanglements. However, you have to push ahead and move forward on your own because Saturn will reward hard work. And it feels to me like a lot of you might be hesitant, mainly because there's so much like legal issues there's so much um picking up the pieces and cleaning up and you know um in order for the next phase of your life to start however the sooner you do this the the sooner the new situation can come in for you so this is a test of your resilience of your ability to push forward okay and sagittarius you are a, one of the most adventurous signs of the um, zodiac so Think of this as a new face in your life. Think of this as the new adventure. So don't um, let fear hold you back. I don't feel that a lot of you are going to be fearful. But I do feel when it comes to paperwork, when it comes to like tedious things such as 
such as, you know, for example, you're getting a divorce and you have to find a lawyer, you have to find like, um, you have to find old receipts, you have to find old contracts in order to build up your case, in order to get that divorce, in order to ask for alimony, in order to ask for child support. All of those tedious, tedious, um, boring paperwork, you don't want to do it. So it's not the fear, it's mainly, you know, the tediousness associated with following up, picking up the pieces, you don't really want to do it, you want to sever ties, you want to leave the country and never look back. That's what you want, but in reality, Saturn will only re reward hard work, so you're only going to get the outcome that you want if you put in the work in order to push, you know, steer that, um, that, that hand of destiny, I guess, in the direction that you want, okay? So hard work, unfortunately, is going to be required of you. And I understand where you're coming from because I do have the Sagittarius uh, moon. And I did mention I can't do timestamps on my videos. I, I just want, can't physically, I, I can't sit still to review it, to put in the numbers. And I know there are only, you know, 12 signs. I can't bring myself to do it. So it's the tediousness of the paperwork. It's the tediousness of having to start over, of having to, you know, um, do the research, do the, get new information that you don't want to do that. You just want clean breaks and you want to move on with your life, but it doesn't happen like that. There has to be a transitional period in between a, a clean break and a new start because that's the all a part of the healing process it's also a part for you of the mourning process and it's um by physically cleaning up the old by physically like you know starting the new you're basically sending out intentions good energies like um, clean new energies into the universe so that the universe can bring you the things that you want in the next phase of your life so think of it as a, a, a healing process a mourning process you have to mourn for the past in order to embrace the future so I do sense that um, you don't want to do it okay and and it's in your best interest so whenever I look at this card I always always feel like um, you're fighting against your spirit guides, you know, because um, front and center, you're in color. So it seems to me as if this is a card that indicates you're in this physical realm and other people are telling you, no, you're doing things, you know, you're, you're kind of, um, you're not doing things the right way. We want to steer you towards the right direction, but you're not heeding that inner voice, okay? So you might be victorious here because, you know, you're you're thinking to yourself, I have to stand up for myself, which is also something that you must do. You need to stand up for yourself when it comes to legal issues, okay? And I do sense that if it's not legal issues, if you're just really pushing ahead and you want clean breaks, I do feel that you're going to have to do the tedious work in order to get the legal issue situation sorted out so that you can have that clean break and you can have the outcome that you want, okay? So Sagittarius, it seems to be a very, very heavy second half of September, but the energy are all corroborating the same theme, which is like wrapping up one thing before a new thing can come. Wrapping up one thing and, um, you know, doing things correctly so that you don't have to backtrack and redo them. So a little bit more attention and detail, obviously, is going to be required of you, okay? If you are dealing with an air sign who is involved, mired in this situation, I do sense that air sign is not going to be in the picture. If you are hoping for advice, guidance, and something from an air sign or a legal counselor, you definitely have to do the work in order to seek them out, okay? So this is something that's just, um, I know it, it doesn't sound like the most exciting time. There's a lot of like loose ends that needs to be wrapped up and you don't really want to do it. But I do feel it will serve your greater interest in the future, okay?